Hey guys, welcome back. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to show the user's current location on the map whether the user gets a location by pressing the locator button or by selecting a specific address from the autocomplete drop-down list. As you can see, the map is in full screen mode behind the form as well. Let's show the user's location on the map when a user clicks the locator button. First, I'm going to add an HTML element that will be used to display Google Maps. So go to the template at the top. After the end of the section tag, define another element called section with an ID attribute and set its value to map. As soon as I add this element, the code editor gives me an error when I mouse over it. It says the template root requires exactly one element. This is because in view, there should be only one element which is apparent inside the template tags. All other HTML elements should be only the children of the parent element. To fix that, I'm going to wrap both section elements with the div element like so. And the error has gone away. Let's add some CSS properties. To do that, scroll down to the style element, define a new CSS rule called pound sign map. Inside it, I'm going to set the position property to absolute and set the top, left, right and bottom properties to zero which will make sure that the element covers the entire screen. Let's also add the background color to red to see if the HTML element is positioned correctly. Nice, it takes the full width, but it hides the actual form. To bring the form to the front, I'm going to add an inline CSS style with a couple of properties to the section element at the top. So go inside the starting section tag. I'm going to say style equals inside double quotes position property colon relative semicolon z index colon one semicolon which will bring the form in front of the map's HTML element. Let's try it out. Nice, it works exactly what we wanted. Next, I'm going to show the Google Maps map object on the screen when a user clicks the locator button and gets the location in the form of latitude and longitude. So I'm going to go inside the locator button pressed function after the get address from function call this dot show user location on the map function which i'm going to declare in a moment and pass the latitude and longitude values as arguments to it then go to the methods object and declare show user location on the map function like this with latitude and longitude parameters like so. This is where I'm going to create a map object and add the user location marker to it. So define the map variable let space map equals new space google dot maps dot map with m caps opening and closing parentheses and I'm going to pass two parameters to this constructor. The first one is an HTML element where the map is going to be added to. So document.get element by ID opening and closing parenthesis in say double quotes map comma the second argument is a JavaScript object in which I'm going to add three properties to it. 
The first one is zoom and its value is 15, which I think perfect number to show the map. So it's not too far or it's not too close. Comma, to center the map based on user's current location, I'm going to use center property and its value would be lat long object. So create lat long object, new space google dot maps dot lat long. Open in closing parenthesis, then pass the current user's latitude and longitude values to it as parameters. Finally, the map type, which will be road map. Map type ID colon google dot maps dot map type ID dot road map. Let's try it. And the map is working great. As you can see, the map is centered based on the user's current location, but there is no marker indicating where the user's actual current location is. Let's add the marker to fix that. So after the map object, define marker object. New space Google dot maps dot marker with M caps and opening and closing parenthesis. I'm going to pass a JavaScript object with just two parameters in it. The first one is the position property, which tells the marker where to be placed on the map. And the value of the position property will be a lat long object passing the current user's coordinates, like so. The second one is the map property, which tells the marker which map it should be placed into. So I'm going to pass the map object that I have declared above. Let's try it now. And the marker is placed exactly where the user's current location is. Nice. Next, let's see how to show a location on the map when getting a user's address from the autocomplete drop-down list. I'm going to attach an event listener called place underscore change to the autocomplete object. This event will be triggered when a user selects a specific address from the autocomplete drop-down list. So go inside the mounted function and give a name to the autocomplete object. Then attach place changed event listener to it. So autocomplete dot add listener opening and closing parenthesis. This method will take two parameters. The first one is the event name in quotes. So inside double quotes place underscore changed. And the second one is a callback function which will be called when the event is complete. I'm going to use an error function for that. So comma, opening and closing parenthesis equals angle bracket and opening and closing curly braces. To get the selected place information inside the callback function, invoke the getPlace method on the autocomplete object and assign it to the variable called place. Let's console log this variable to see if it works. Nice. Now all we need from this place object is the latitude and longitude values so that we can simply call the show user location on the map function that I have already declared and pass the latitude and longitude values to it. So this dot show user location on the map opening and closing parenthesis and pass the latitude and longitude values from the place object. So place dot geometry dot location dot lat which will be a method so I'm going to use opening and closing parenthesis comma place dot geometry dot location dot LNG for longitude. Nice. 
Now, if you choose any place from the drop down list, the map will show the location like a chart. Also, the map will show user's current location when they use the locator button. Hey, if you want to know more about Google Maps API and how you can use it to enhance location-based services in your JavaScript or Vue.js app, check out my course link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.